What's happening, my lovely, wonderful people? Um, a senator from Rivers States has said that what they had and what they calculated is quite different from the results being put out there. He said, from our calculation, Peter Obi got over 2 million votes in Rivers State alone. Yes, the same Peter Obi got over 2 million votes in River State alone. And that is uh, Victor Ume. Victor Ume says they are so sure of it, like at like the back of their hands. Well, we know that this election, there is so much contention. There is so much, you know, there is so much that is going on. People feel that their mandate, I mean, the person they support mandate has been stolen and what have you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. From our calculation, Peter Obi got mm. over 2 million votes in River State alone. The result was a fraud. The Labour Senator from the Labour Senator for Anambra Central Sanitarian District, Victor Mayor, in report on Nigerian Tribune, he is alleged that some recent calculation they carried out allegedly show that the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi, got over 2 million votes in River State alone. The senator-elect reportedly mentioned this in an appreciation message to Anambra people who voted him during the last election. Mayor, however, pointed that his happiness will not be complete until the presidential mandate is retrieved to Peter Ubi, who has worked hard for it. The Senate-elect the Senate expressed his surprise towards INEC's decision to quickly declare Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu as the winner of the election. Senator Ume alleged that INEC robbed the true winner of the election by declaring the APC candidate as the winner and that he has noted, he has noted as he, have you noticed, nobody in Nigeria is happy. Tinubu's victory has brought more doom and woes than you can imagine. The people are truly not happy. According to the senator, they have been gathering evidences in regards to the election and some of their findings allegedly showed that Peter Obi got 25% in 30 states in Nigeria with a landslide victory in Lagos, Reverse Abuja. He said that some of the results from the local government areas in River State were manipulated. He however assured that they will do everything legally possible to help Peter Obi retrieve his mandate. In his words, he said, it's, ob it's obvious that since Aine corrupted the true winner of, the, of his victory, there have been no celebration. Nigeria has been as dumb and quiet as though someone died instead of a time of celebration. No dancing, no gunshot, because everybody is mourning. The wrong person has been declared winner. And that's what happened when the wrong person is on the seat. It was not what we asked for. What we bought was different. What was given to us was different. This was what INEC brought to us. Peter Obi won in more than 12 states. He got 25% in over 20 states that is more than enough win which is not which this which is not the result is not what they declared they declared something totally different from our calculation peter will be had a landslide victory not just in lagos and abuja but also in river state where he got over two million votes said senate elect to may the real result from one local government area is out and that is how almost all we are going around and all the local government area, Peter Obi got 70,000 and APC got 3,000 votes. But they changed it and gave Peter Obi the 3,000 and added even 10,000 to that of Tinubu and gave him 80,000. The votes allocated to us in Benway, Plateau, we are not what we got. And I strongly believe that the court would do the right thing in the calculation and give us back our victory. Peter Obi is a great leader and he has a mandate to change Nigeria. We are working hard to gather our evidence as we go to court. 
So here it is, my lovely, wonderful people. You can see for yourself that everyone is getting ready. Yes, everyone is preparing and getting ready to take the bull by the horn. No one is keeping quiet, just sitting down there and waiting for some manner to fall from above. No, it's not happening because everybody's watching seriously. Every all eyes are all eyes are, you know, seriously watching to see what next. The days have come where Nigerians are ready to ensure, you know, that the right thing is done. This is not the generation to steal their mandate. You can see how things are. Some people feel very strongly that they are, you know, the mandate of their candidate has been taken and must be retrieved. So whether you like it or not, you can see you can see the tenacity, the vigor, and how the people are working hard to ensure that you know their mandates are not taken. So this Senate, this uh, Senate elect is one of the new senators, by the way. Um, Labour Party has over six senators elected before they said no structure, no structure. All of a sudden, they have over uh, how many House of Representatives? Close to 30. Somebody who was just supporting Labour Party won. You know, a young man who was riding Okada is a House of Rep member now. That's how things, you know, when people see change, they believe in it. They just, they just tag along. That was the kind of uh, change that Peter Obi brought. In fact, Peter Obi made a new thing today that really gave a lot of people and showed a lot of people that this man, you know, he, he's, really, he's really a real gen. You know, the lady, Jennifer, who was, you know, who was um, injured by Terox when she was trying to go vote. Yes, that lady, Peter Obi went to visit her. Now, I'm not saying that because, um, you know, just, but, you know, most of the candidates will not even bother going again. Once the elections is over, oh, so be it, the deal is done. But guess what not with Peter Obi? He went there. Yes, he did. He went there. He went there. He went to visit her, you know. And people are started commenting and saying, now, wow, this man, you know, you really meant something different. You are really a different person. You are not, you know, like just like every other person, you know. He went there to visit her. And I believe he did not just go and visit, even if it's 10,000 naira. I'm not saying that's what he gave him. You will give her to say, Madame, take me to buy by paracetamol. So it shows you that he has a heart, you know. And so um, Atiku, Peter will be uh, off to, off to, you know, uh, off to uh, uh, court. We'll see, we'll keep you up to speed. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.